Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. In this virtual experience, I am so delighted to have one of our amazingly talented filmmakers from this past month, Ollie Anderson with his film Bunkers. Hello, Ollie. Uh, hey. <laughs> he is here. We are we are live. We are live right now, unless you're watching it later, of course. Um, but for those that haven't seen Bunkers, let's take a look at a clip. Nobody knows for sure where golf came from originally. They say it's from Scotland, but you see, Starlow Monsaldo found this thousand-year-old coals in the jungles of San Francisco. Now this little story is about Starlow learning the rules of golf, and in particular, bunker. Um, Oli, I'm glad because even even though we're in this crazy world, we're making this happen and we're connecting. So this is great. Um, um, I, I'm in, I'm in love with bunkers. I, I loved it and so much, and I love your style and your and your creativity. Uh, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Sure. Uh, so the worst golfer of the year has discovered an ancient golf course in the jungles of San Francisco. And uh, this takes place during COVID time. And so in order to uh, retrieve the treasure of eternal life, he um, needs to learn and play by the rules of golf. And why would you not want to watch it with that synopsis? I mean, really, <laughs> you know, like that's what, I, that's what I love about it so much. And it was so amazing talking to you at our film festival yesterday. And, and I love uh, when you explain a little bit about where the, where the story was inspired and also how significant golf kind of is um, to certain communities. So where, tell us a little bit where the inspiration came from. Sure. Um, you know, during that time period, it was, I made this between February and June of this year. And during that time, we, we had this feeling of like, what can I do to help? Like, how can I, what, what can I bring to the table? Um, and so kind of just thinking about my own past and my history, um, you know, we were in a time where we really just needed love and laughter and just kind of a way to escape. And so kind of thinking back, I had just been uh, to Scotland in 2019 uh, at the Solheim Cup. And the Solheim Cup, if you don't know, it's all about um, Europe versus the United States uh, for women in professional golf. And what I loved about that and what the Solheims have done is in particular um, is just try to make an equal leveling playing, like give girls an opportunity. And it was by far one of the most impactful um, experiences I've, I've ever been to in my life. Just it, the energy is so different than like the Ryder Cup. It, it's just uh, so that was like a really big influence and, you know, one part. And then, you know, the second part of that is, um, you know, being able to listen to people and talk about. Uh, what their kind of goals are and their goals are to grow the game of golf mm -hmm. and it's so impactful it, it, it kind of blows my mind when you look at the numbers of it I mean there's no other sport generates more contributions to charity than golf no. there's over 450 million fans throughout the world and about a little under 6,000 generates a billion dollars annually I mean it's a 90 billion dollar industry but they just do so much and if there's going to be a sport to help you kind of get outside and just make that transition um, yeah. out of the cave or wherever you may be, this is a great place to start. It's kind of funny, like two weeks ago um, or a week ago, we, we just had the U.S. Amateur. Um, and unfortunately, a guy on the 18th hole, his, his caddy, um, didn't know the rules in particular bunkers. He didn't know some bunker rules and it cost him the championship. And oh, maybe wow. if you watch this video, it wouldn't have been that way. Wow. Uh, we put your video out places now you know <laughs> wow well that i mean it's it's fast it, that is absolutely fascinating and, and and such a beautiful part of the world of scotland that you went to where the inspiration came from it's it's golf is very serious business up in scotland um for sure um i love i mean i just love your style i love the world that you took us into i was just you know so enthralled by the, the characters that you know you created it was just it was just mesmerizing and i didn't even know how you begin to create this world particularly keeping yourself inspired during this, you know, particular time, but, but I'm very grateful that you did. Um, that's the one thing. Um, now, how, how long is the process of actual production in, in creating this particular project? Because I mean, there's stop motion there. There's a lot going on in, in the film. And, and, and I don't think people always understand just how much time and work goes into creating a, you know, a, a film such as yours. You know, I'm, I'm a big person on uh, this concept called execute or be executed. Um, so basically the idea is you got to have really good pre-production, really good planning, um, just kind of the story. 
So in order to give myself some flexibility on being able to tell a short story, I have a longer one. So this is actually episode four uh, of a longer series. Jeez. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. It's just, this is the one I'd be able to tell here at this time period. And so it was a nice little twist to kind of fit into it. And um, so really it was all about the, the story structure and then going in and writing the script and then from the script, uh, nailing that storyboard. And then I could always kind of go back to that and just keep checking off the boxes. And, and, and I, I love the characters you created, you know, some of the, you know, the, the, the woman, the older guy and, and even the sharks, like, you know, I was like, oh my goodness, like I was just even scared of these sharks and I was just in the world. Um, how, how do you go about creating your characters? I mean, were they based upon anybody that you know? How does that work for you or, or you know, are these kind of ideas that just pop into your head? Well, it's a combination of everything. Um, you know, being from San Francisco, one of my Insta uh, one of my kind of inspirations is this Instagram account I called uh, created called San Francisco Toys. Um, yes, follow them. You should follow them for sure. <laughs> Thank you. And um, one of the the important kind of things I feel like from being somebody from San Francisco, I was born in Haight Ashbury and raised here, is that I wanted somebody to feel like they could relate to this character. So mm -hmm. you know, with Starlo, I, I didn't oh, want yeah. to have. Um, you know, a race. I, I want to be somebody that like you could connect with and sort of, um, yeah. right. And so there's a little bit of uh, memories and feelings of, of Disney, Walt Disney. I'm a big fan of Ollie Johnston and, you know, Frank Thomas, yeah. those illustrators. Um, yeah. And, and so that was kind of a little bit with Starlo uh, was I wanted some reality, some 80% reality, you know, his, his body type. And then, but then just ahead, something where we could, doesn't matter who you are, but you could sort of identify with this person. Um, yeah. And then the bunker shark uh, in particular was um, really inspired by uh, Tim Burton for one. Um, obviously, you know, with Beetlejuice, that was amazing. So I oh. thought, well, wh why don't I create a cousin um, for, for bunkers or for, for the bunker shark? And so, you know, in that, and I looked at doing the research. When I was doing sort of my research in the beginning of this, I wanted to tell an authentic and genuine story. And I think we're also in this time period. I don't know if you watch um, Oak Island on the History Channel. Yes, yes, yeah. I have, yes. Okay. So, yeah. so we're, it's like, it's empirical evidence. A lot of stuff happened before uh, Christopher Columbus. And so we really do need to sort of rewrite history. And yeah. I think when we kind of look back at it and we look, well, we really don't know where the history of golf it comes from. It actually, you know, that we say some of the rules came from there, but it's been around in China, it's been around in, in, in all over the world. Um, and so the same thing, looking back into San Francisco, the, I looked at, okay, well, who are the natives, you know, a thousand years ago? That was the Ohlone Indians. Mm -hmm. And so when I looked them up and I started reading more of their story and I started seeing the stripes, you know, that the dancers would wear. And they had a game, um, actually was based off of a stick and dice. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually a lot of the things you see in the film are, are, are true, uh, which is also kind of surprising. Like all of the rules are true. Nobody does know where golf came from originally. That's true. So there's an opportunity to kind of tell a unique story That's and with some characters. This um, was actually from the rules of golf, uh, kind of inspired that and Aladdin. Uh, like, where would be the worst place to hit your golf ball out of? Uh, maybe the Cave of Wonders? <laughs> that, that, for me, I got chills when I saw the Cave of Wonders. I was like, it's Aladdin! You know? yeah. and even the david bowie-esque that you had in there as well like i was just a, it was just like you know again it's just it's so magical because you took us into a world and i was captivated like i loved how you just turned it from day to night like it was just you know that that particular transition was just really fascinating to me um because i know that you know a lot of work you know goes into just you know creating the type of animation that you do um, but no, the cave of wonders, it was just like, it was, I was like, wow. And he just took it from one area to another. Is that something that as, you know, I mean, cause again, it must feel such a great thing that you are kind of doing, creating this world and imagination for us. Um, you know, is it, is, is it, is it something you really enjoy just to give your audiences that, you know, you take us to places that we name never thought we may go before. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's something I've, I've really loved in my entire career, whether it's been building video games or, or educational video games. I think we're all just in this place right now where we need to escape sometimes. Yeah. It's really hard. And if yeah. I can do that, if I can help somebody to escape for just six minutes and 45 seconds, yeah, it'll you know generate a little bit of love and passion that they can pass on to another person.
Yeah, no, definitely. Well, I think that's the one thing. I mean, Ollie, you're really, I love that, you know, a lot from your, you know, your heart and your, your essence of love and spreading love around through your work and, and putting smiles on those faces is such a, you know, so I'm so grateful that that is where it stems from for you as, as a filmmaker. And I'm, I'm you know, it's really, really wonderful. Um, now I know I, I feel like, you know, I, I feel like if I was with you creating and making an animation on set with you, you just got a very wonderful, calm presence about you and, you know, you really know what to do and how to do things, but was there any challenges that you kind of faced in making this particular project or, or, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not a stranger to failure. So you know, <laughs> myself up of, wasn't, it wasn't too difficult, but you know, I'm somebody who really thrives in environments where I get to work with others to create magical experiences, you know, like yeah. taking somebody and try to make them better and make them their best and then bring yeah. that to the table. And, and we just keep doing that together. So, you know, in this, this situation, because I was alone, um, for most of it, I was grateful when my wife, I could bring her in to help at times. <laughs> uh, but, but exhaustion, it was, was really, was really tough. It was very physically demanding because normally you have these sets at a certain height where it's not so hard on your back to work with. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but any other animators would have killed me or fired me for this situation because I had to drop it at such a height in order to accommodate the, um, trumpetry, which was, which you'll see. Yeah. It's super, super world. Yeah. And I have, I never knew actually, it's amazing. I mean, look at the size of that cave of wonder. I mean, that is big. And if you think if that gives people that have seen bunkers, you know, if you look at, if you look at our, our, our wonderful, uh, cave of wonder on the, on the left right there, you know, you will realize just how big the set was because, you know, you created quite a, a, a larger set than, than, than the most actually. And I, and that's, that's amazing. So you really did create a world there for us. Um, what I mean, listen, I mean, you made this during, I mean, anyone that has made anything or done anything during this particular time, you know, congratulations to you for, for sharing this with us and sharing your art uh, with us. Um, but what's it been like thus far? Just, you know, sharing it with others. We were so grateful you brought it to New Filmmakers LA and that you got to experience it with us. What's that experience been like of, of sharing this film bunkers with us? Um, Honestly, I've been brought to tears and, and humbled by how the wonderful reception that it's gotten, you know, so much fear about sharing certain artwork um, yeah. and things like that. Because as you know, as an actor, you're sharing your open wounds. Um, and so there's a lot of things I talked about in the film without actually talking about, because it's just, you know, it's a hard time for a lot of people. Yeah, it is. Um, I don't it know if I got to your question, if we can. <laughs> no, you did. You really did. And I'm, I'm so glad because, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, uh, filmmaking, filmmakers, creativity, entertainment, education, whatever it may be, it's all about community. And, and you know, and people do need to, you know, understand about the world. And, and, and I did see those moments in there that you shared with us that, you know, really kind of were truthful, hard hitting experiences of, of, of what we've experienced previously and today as well. And I love that you just put that in there as well as entertain us and take this into a world. And, you know, I'm very thankful you made it for us because we all need, we all need a bit of a, su a support and comedy and smiles and, and understanding. And, and I love that, you know, that Bunkers did that for us. Definitely for sure. Um, I'm so curious what is next. I want Oh, also can people see the other episodes anywhere? Is there anywhere they can see it? Well, um, I'm, I can't show uh, a lot right now. Um, this kind of goes into what's next. And, oh, and, good. Uh, yeah. Um, so there, there's kind of some friction points right now. And this is one of the wonderful things. Like I'm, I'm reaching out to, you know, it, just have this relationship with the NFLA is, is fantastic. So, yeah. you know, I really would need to build a, a talented team or need to be surrounded by, by, you know, some people to help reduce my friction points. Um, you know, like for example, one of the things I need to do for an episode that's coming up, uh, I'm actually going after a Guinness book of world's records for the deepest animation done in an ocean. Um, oh, and, what? So, yeah. I love it. Yeah. So, um, and then, you know, so that there's a team that kind of, you need to help, uh, to do some of these things with just, just some basic logistics. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of one thing. Another thing. Oh, please, that's amazing, Ollie. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I, well, well, please let us know when, when you've won your Guinness Book of Records, please. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call you in. Uh, yeah, please Lord, do. I love I love your voice so much. I'll have to oh. have a character for you. Um, but, like, but you know, I don't know how expensive you are. It'd be really difficult to get oh, you. you, Ollie. Just <laughs> you know, all with love, definitely. No, I love it. Thank you. Um, and then you know, the second thing is which would be wonderful. I only made this movie out of 
very little money. It was like $13,700, which includes the marketing mm -hmm. fees. Um, so an open checkbook would be ideal, but I know that's not going to be the case, but that would be a wonderful thing is to have some uh, financial support in order to yeah. um, make some of these things. Uh, for example, you know, this, this puppet or this character or this toy, um, there's some things that, that I really need help with because I'm not an industrial designer. And so it's just like, you know, I'm using sticky dots to connect, to connect the head on this thing, right? And so I made it out of uh, tin foil and FOMO um, wow. to keep the center of to keep it light. And then it's wrapped with a tiny thing of uh, clay uh, around it. And so, so, you know, just somebody like in that area and then there's the set and then there's also like representation as I'm going through. And I, you know, yesterday morning I had a great conversation with uh, the head of global content and strategy at Ubiquity um, oh, about awesome. distribution. And, and so, um, you know, I didn't even think about Latin or, or, or uh, Africa as, as yeah. micro, um, markets, but anyways, I, I, you know, so that would be like the second thing. And the third thing um, would be, I need Bill Murray. Okay, Bill. we're putting this out there right now. We need Bill, but listen, oh my goodness, I just, I just actually showed my partner Groundhog Day for the very first time. And I was like, you've got to see this classic. And I was like, you've not seen it? Um, anyways, Bill Murray. Okay, Bill Murray, everyone right now, we're at New Filmmakers, it's Products Universe. Bill Murray is going to come to you, okay? We're going to bring Bill <laughs> Murray it. to you. Um, he's probably really after some, you know, uh, a little bit of something different right now. So, you know, you're right up his alley, I think. I hope so. That would be great. Yeah. I mean, I think <laughs> yeah. timing and, you know, I think this is something where, because, you know, just for his voice, you know, we just, he, he, we can do it safely, you know? Yeah. yeah, no, definitely. Well, I mean, listen, I, I, I love that you put that out there because, you know, we try to make dreams happen at New Filmmakers. We, we, we really, we do try. Um, I, well, you know, I, I could, I, I honestly, I, 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 uh, I, I could talk to you for hours. I really could. I, I just would love to know from, from, you know, from your heart for you as a filmmaker, as an animator, like, um, for, I, I think, you know, again, making this film in this time is, is an inspiration to all of us, no matter what thing you're trying to accomplish in your world. Um, do you have any advice that you kind of could share with the audience that they could go by for, you know, for animators, for filmmakers, anything that you kind of, um, could share with us, um, for our audience? Um, sure. Uh, let's see, you know, if we go with the animation world, you should watch and learn about the 11 principles uh, from Ollie Johnston and, and um, Frank Thomas. I, I think those genius, I mean, way to kind of look at things and in the world and when you're doing this, um, mm -hmm. you know, from story structure, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of, of Path of the Hero, the um, Joseph Campbell's, you know, that, that story. But really, you know, failure's gonna happen all the time. And, and it's just your, your attitude and patience to get through that is really what's gonna help um, and just have the courage to, to keep going. And it's okay to make mistakes. You know, I think the things that we love aren't necessarily the wonderful qualities, but are the, the characteristics or maybe the flaws that we connect with. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, in this, I can definitely add more value to other people because I think relationship is a genuine relationship is about other people. So mm -hmm. if you do like this, if you do love this, and you want to have a genuine relationship, please hit me up. I'd love to have one with you. Oh. Uh, Ollie, you need to do like an uplifted, you know, uplift, uplifting podcast with Ollie, you know, just to kind of keep us all motivated every day. So, you know, you really do have a, you know, a wonderful, uh, you know, you know, essence of, of, of sharing and care and, and through your art. And so we really appreciate that. And, um, and, and Bill Murray, I hope you enjoyed watching this interview. Um, you know, we'll just, we'll just send it to him a few times. Um, but no, listen, thank you very, very, very much. Um, I am, I'm delighted you brought bunkers to, to, to us and I, I just want to keep watching more of your, of your work. So really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Ollie. Thank you, Danny. And, and thanks to your team. Really. I mean, fantastic. You should just have a white paper on what you guys do because it, <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, it's really, it's a whole different experience. And, um, for, especially as a new filmmaker, it's one of the most wonderful um, opportunities to onboard um, oh. about this world, really. We take it to the heart, so it's a team effort, so thank you very much.